Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I am going to be talking about my tattoo that I got yesterday at the age of 15. Here it is. It's quite awkward to show. I asked you guys for some questions because I want to do like a tattoo Q&A because I am really young getting a tattoo and a lot of people wanted to know a lot of things. I have some pretty interesting questions to answer. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe down below and press the bell button to be notified for the next time I upload. Don't forget to give this big thumbs up up and subscribe and comment and do those things that you do on YouTube first question was were you nervous before you got it and how long were you planning on getting this tattoo I was so so nervous before getting it I like freaked out I was like oh my god I don't know how I'm gonna like cope with this I overthink things a lot like a lot a lot I really wanted a tattoo, but I was really worried about getting one because I was like, needles underneath my skin for two hours. Am I going to be able to cope with that? I don't know. I planned getting a tattoo for the longest time. I've always wanted one. This specific tattoo design I only planned on having for like a few weeks. Maybe it wasn't like a long decision to get this certain one by the way that's like medical tape they put on because when i got the tattoo done they put like this bandage thing over it and this is just where it's kind of like come off my skin and it won't come off when i wash it so just ignore that the next question is are you scared that in the future you will regret getting the tattoo my answer is no i'm not scared that i will regret it i view tattoos as like pictures of art on your body and this has some meaning to it which i'll get into in a minute even if i grow up and i think that is ugly that that's an ugly tattoo it will remind me of the period of time in my life that when i got it done so it have a lot of symbolic memory to it it won't just be like oh i got a tattoo for no reason like I could get the most ugly tattoo in the world, but I'll still look back on it and be like, that's amazing because I remember my life at that period of time. It's like a visual photo album, but on your body. I think tattoos are so cool. I know so many people have different opinions on them. I know loads of people who have grown up to regret their tattoos. Personally, I love it. Quite pretty. I don't think I will hate it, to be honest with you. I think the only thing I will regret about it, if I do regret anything, is where I put it. I literally got on my arm near my wrist, so it's pretty visible. I wanted my first tattoo to be visible because, I mean, I spent a lot of money on this. I don't want it to be, like, hidden away kind of thing. The next question, which a lot of you guys probably are watching this video to get the answer for, is what is the meaning behind the tattoo? Well, it's a floral heart. And it's got a couple different meanings in it, but it's not really symbolic. Like, it's not like I got this in memory of, like, my dead nan or something. Like, it's got some meaning, but it's not super meaningful as well. Which is fine. Not all tattoos have to be meaningful. I got this mainly because of my mum. Because I really wanted a rose tattoo. Just because, like, she's, like, beautiful like a rose. And, like, she's feisty, so she's got like, thorns and stuff. Also, when I was little, me and my mum's favourite song was Roses by Outcast, so that's got a big meaning in it. I don't know why I didn't mention it in the video, but yeah. Oh yeah, I got a rose in there. That's in memory of my mum. Not in memory, she's not dead. That's for my mum. We are actually going to get matching tattoos, me and my mum, when I come back to America in about a year. But I just think it's so beautiful. It's like inside a heart and like just with loads of roses and flowers. I don't actually have that much meaning to it now I think about it. Just the rose represents my mum and everything else is just really pretty. And I thought that that kind of looked nice. Next question is, what inspired me to get a tattoo? I just have always wanted a tattoo. Nothing really inspired me. I just think they look so cool. I really wanted one and I found out that the Kansas law lets you have a tattoo with parents mission like any age it's not really like an age restriction I don't think I don't know don't quote me um I asked around a lot of different studios and two came back and said yeah we tattoo 15 year olds most of them only tattooed like 16 year olds because it kind of is up to the studio what age you want to do I looked through the artwork of each kind of place it said they do 15 year olds and I was in love with the place I got it done it's called Headless Hands in Mission Kansas so I would definitely recommend them Vince did my tattoo and he was so cool and he did a really 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 good job the next question I got asked is, are your parents okay with you getting a tattoo? Yes, both my parents are completely happy with me getting a tattoo. My mum actually signed for me to get this tattoo. She's so fine with it. My dad doesn't really like tattoos. He would never really get one himself. He doesn't really like them that much. 
but he said you can have one like whatever i don't really care you do you so yeah both my parents are super happy with my tattoo they both love it i'm really lucky to have supportive parents that like always encourage me to do things and always like allow me to do things with my life pretty much a lot of people are like oh my gosh i can't believe your parents let you do that like what have you done to yourself it's a tattoo it's not the end of the world i'm not going out there doing hardcore drugs you know it's a tattoo it's a freedom of expression pretty much and my parents all for that so you know i know some people's parents are not the same some people's parents would be like no way never ever but out of all the things i could be doing in my life getting a tattoo is the least of their problem another person asked me where would you least want to get a tattoo definitely on my feet or on my elbow or my shoulder blade i've heard those are the most painful places like anywhere that you're ticklish you're pretty much gonna hurt getting a tattoo or your armpits as well and stuff like that not that anyone would really want to get the armpit tattooed but if you do then cool that that would be pretty fun though you could be like way look at my tattoo on my armpit but be painful so Definitely those places or on like the vaginal area. Yeah. I don't know why people get like foot tattoos for their first tattoo because like I wanted mine to be in a place where it's very really visible because like I spent money on it, like a lot of money. Someone else asked me, did it hurt? And oh my God, it didn't hurt whatsoever. I was so, 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 so shocked. I almost had a panic attack before going in there and getting it done, but literally as soon as he put it into my skin, I was like, what? Like I, to me, it just felt like vibrations under my skin. It didn't hurt. I was literally on my phone during it, laughing, talking, everything. My nose piercing hurt more, which says a lot. I say it didn't hurt, but I love needles. So if you don't like needles, you probably won't like it. Completely fine with getting like blood tests and like injections and shots. So if you're not really good with those, I don't know how you'd be with it, but seriously on my arm it probably was like a one or a two out of ten like i was like laughing i was like why do so many people tell me it hurt like this this makes me want to get 74 more like i just want to be tatted up now because that was the least painful thing ever the worst part of it for me was just sitting down for like two hours just with my arm like that but that was like not an issue at all someone asked me how many do i plan on getting and as many as i can i just want to be tatted up now like honestly i just love tattoos now i am in love with it the process i actually enjoyed i want so many like i want my whole body to be covered pretty much not really that many but i do want quite a lot more someone asked me do they cover scars and no this one does not actually cover any scars, but I really want my thigh done because I have a lot of scars there and um, I think it'd be nice to get those covered. So yeah, definitely gonna have a tattoo that covers my scars at some point. The last question someone asked me was, what do you think of people with cheesy tattoos like feathers or infinity signs? And my opinion on that is, you do you boo you have whatever you want on your body. Whether it's cheesy or whether it's like completely brand new design that you've made up you get tattooed what you want to get tattooed i love feather tattoos to be honest with you so i'm not really going to diss them i just think that if you want something on your body you get it done whether it's overdone or not whether it's a new idea or whether everyone's got one you do what you want to do in life it's going to be on your body forever so i'm not going to judge anyone on what they have on their body unless it's offensive or rude or like just out of order i've seen some awful tattoos like that have really offended me and have offended other people too and I just don't agree with them. If you know it's going to offend people, don't get it done because it's just out of order. Like, when I say that, I mean like I saw someone with the Twin Towers tattoo and like horrible writing underneath and that type of thing is a no-go. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this a big thumbs up. And by the way, guys, this is my last video. I will be filming in America for the next year craziness i'll be back in my old room in england as from the next video so thank you so much for watching i love you all so 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 much make sure you subscribe comment and follow my social medias 